Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today all we need is a glue stick, uh, two strips of paper this time, and a pair of scissors. That's all we need. And last time we, we saw how we can make a Mobius loop. This time we are going to do something interesting. We are going to do uh, we're going to make a three-dimensional you know, uh, shape and we're going to change into a two-dimensional shape. Again, this is just another fun project uh, with mathematics and science. It has applications in both, but uh, if you want to uh, ignite the scientific temper in, in your children or in, in, in a child that you know, uh, in your students, you can always use these kind of activities uh, to, to, you know, uh, stimulate their brains. So that's the basic uh, idea behind starting this channel. Uh, we want to spread scientific temper uh, through these small 5-10 minutes experiments uh, to as many people, especially children, as possible. Okay, now, without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, just like the last time, all we need is a pair of scissors, standard scissors, something to glue on to the paper and this here is an A4 sheet of paper. Uh, all you have to do is this time, last time we made one strip, this time you have to just fold the paper like this and make a very sharp crease, it will help you to tear it uh, easily and just tear it now this part is not of much use here the you know the the other half of the paper so I'm taking it out of the video now let's focus on the half of the A4 sheet that we had and here what I'm doing is again folding it lengthwise like this and simply tearing it in the same fashion as we did just a few moments ago. So what we end up here with is two strips of paper, similar length and you know about the same width. Again if you, uh, if you, if you uh, tear the paper too thin it's not good because you have to cut uh, both of these papers in the middle so be careful with that I think this width is about good three fingers if you don't have a scale with you uh, that's about the, the the width that I would recommend okay now we have the glue stick so take the cap off and just like we did previously in the last video uh, glue one side of each paper one end sorry glue one end of each paper now as we did last time glue one end of this strip of paper uh, use the glue very liberally so that it can stick uh, quicker and better so that's one strip, the same with the second strip of paper. So use the other strip, glue uh, one end of it just like you did with the other one, and that's all. That was the that was what we needed with this glue stick. So it goes out of the video now. Now all you have to do is make two simple loops. So last time we made Mobius loop. This time it's very simple, just a simple loop like this. So this is one loop, make a similar loop and be careful, try to make it uh, you know, uh, with the same diameter as the previous one. Uh, not exactly the same, but you know, as same as possible because uh, you know, kids will have difficulty in making things uh, exactly equal 
in terms of diameter but I think these two are yes more or less the same diameter now so you got two simple loops here again we need some help from our Mr. Glue stick so we take the glue stick again and now what we do is we want to create a shape like so so you glue the outer surface of one of the loops this time and why you do that is so that you can connect the other loop at 90 degrees now this is very important so be careful with that what you have to do is don't connect it like this now that will be a shape of eight yeah don't do the eight connect it like this at 90 degrees to each other like this so your final shape should look uh, we'll use a little bit of glue on this end so that it sticks well with the other surface so now what you have here is a very unique thing isn't it uh, these two loops are at 90 degrees with each other or uh, if kids don't understand the concept of degrees you can simply tell them to uh, glue the two loops or two circles like this simple okay now what we did last time we're going to do the same this time we're going to cut this time both of them in the middle all the way so you cut this one okay like so you know what I'll just use a pencil I think that that will make it even more easier so you can make a rough path so that uh, it's easier for younger children to cut like this and the same for the outer circle just make uh, somewhere in the middle make a rough line there uh, yes I think that serves the purpose so we have the lines now I don't know if you can see the lines it's a very light pencil but uh, that that makes it very easy and now the main action so this is what you do you make a cut in the middle and you cut all the way like so and don't stop uh, at the junction as well just cut through go all the way as we did last time and we have a shape like this and also cut the the other strip as well and what you will come uh, up with what the shape that results at the end of it uh, I I hope it surprises you and I hope it uh, surprises the student now I would like you to pause this video now and ask yourself or ask the kids or the students what shape do you think will come out a circle or a triangle or something else now once you discuss the question once the students uh, or the people tell you the answer uh, start the video again you know uh, play it again and watch it from there so when you unfold it completely look at that that's a perfect square so you take two circles and you make a very strange shape of eight but at 90 degrees with each other and you end up with a perfect square isn't that amazing you're changing a three-dimensional thing into a two-dimensional thing and uh, that's that's our fun project for today thank you for watching and as always uh, please like subscribe and spread this video as much as possible thank you for your support
spread the word about this video and please subscribe thank you for watching